Hello, welcome to Branson Spotlight this week. Our feature, Matt Lord from the Redneck masterpiece no redneck really it's tenors. going so well so far <laughs> so well yeah, yeah it would be the three yeah. redneck tenors. the three redneck yeah tenors. but that's okay we get confused with all the other redneck tenor groups. i'm sure there's a lot yeah so yeah. Uh, there's one well around here yeah around well, here they're, they're, there's tons of tenors well they don't really count to three yeah most of the time. we're not really tenors either so you're not no two of you are right two of us are tenors two of you are one's tenors. a baritone really? and then there's a fourth one on occasion so we're actually awesome. the three redneck tenors not really tenors and there's four of us that all makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. But it won't fit on the, the billboard. No, well, it's expensive in brand. Lettering is very expensive. They charge by the, yeah. the syllable. So. Yeah. They said, can you spell three? And actually, we went, no, we can't. No, no, no that's no. fine. Do Roman numerals. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah boy, that would work well here, wouldn't it? <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know. You got I don't to, know what they're used is. to it yeah. from the, the Bibles and stuff. Yeah, so, well, you know. the people here that are old enough that that's what they read. They were there. Yeah, absolutely. Like, their first buffet yeah. was the Last Supper. Absolutely. So, it was the Golden Last Supper. Where are you going? Which is I the Golden know. Corral. Oh, the Golden Corral. I was going to go, you know, the Golden Corral. Anyways. <laughs> anyway, hi. This is our welcome. Great to be here in your house. Yes, here in garage. the beautiful chateau. Oh, where are you? Yeah, there we go. Yes, yeah, yeah. look at that. Yeah. You can see the Didn't want to give away the magic. No. Yeah, Ta -da. there you go. Yeah. Ta-da. Uh, so, you guys are back next year for the uh, big show for 2015. For a little bit, yeah. New theater, though. New theater. Mm -hmm. A bar. In a bar. You're performing in a bar. In a bar. Yeah. There, no, there's a bar in no, the theater. Our theater holds six people. That's... Yeah. We're hoping to sell out <laughs> on occasion. Good luck. Yeah, I know. It's tough. It's a lot of competition out there. Yeah. No, we're at the in. Lodge of the Ozarks next year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think they're calling it the club. I don't know. Oh, that's catchy. They haven't named it yet, but it's... Mm -hmm. Or the Crystal Theater. The Crystal. There's a friend of mine over is there. It is it Crystal? Is it... Uh... The Crystal Theater. It's Branson. <laughs> You know, have you seen Winter of Bone? Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Uh, no. No? Okay, no, no. well, there's a reference there. I see. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, I no, know we're at the Crystal Theater. Uh, mm -hmm. We're actually really excited. We've, we've done this year uh, just like four shows because we were at Andy Williams Theater. Right. And we moved over there. We've actually closed several theaters. We started at the Mansion Theater. Yeah. It's closed. Okay. Then we went to the Americana Theater. Mm -hmm. It's closed. Right. And then we went to Andy Williams Theater last year. Sorry, but, you know, I, yeah. yeah, I'm not things sure what's going to have things mm -hmm. happen. So now we figured, well, we'll go to a theater with a bar. So when we close the theater, we'll at least still have the bar. Oh, there you go. We're very excited. So basically what I'm figuring out is other theater owners are paying you guys to go and work at their competition to no, basically shut them down. We are your insurance company. Like, like Jim Stafford, we were already booked, mm -hmm. but Jim Stafford wanted us to come to his theater because he's been trying to sell it for years. Right, right. Well, instead of a tornado or something, you just hire us and collect the insurance after we're done at the end of the year. And hence the prison outfit. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, you know. Is, that is convenient. It actually. is. It is so convenient. It's cheaper yeah. than an arsonist. And uh, yeah. Yeah. That, that was good. Yeah. Thank you. You led right in. Right there. You must be an MC I'm for a living. I'm on fire. You yes. are uh, en fuego, my friend. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you kind of MC your show, right? A little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have two other guys, Blake Davidson and Jonathan Fruge. Oh, I wish they could have been here. Yeah, I know. It's amazing. He's, so yeah, nice. boy, he's right. <laughs> yeah. We prefer him behind the scenes. Yes. Yeah. Well, let's keep Actually, it that's up. That's what people say when we're in the show. Well, that, I wish they could have been here. Yeah. So, the, so that's kind of sad. You're the face of the show, uh, well, basically. Isn't that so, terrible? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's my yeah. hairline. Yeah. They love that. Yeah. I'm sure they It do. works out for you. It's mm -hmm. a choice. Is it a choice? Yeah, well, it's God's choice. But it's still say, a it's choice. Not your choice. It's not my choice. Yeah. No. Easy for you to say. Yeah, we don't talk about choice here in Branson. No. Very oh, much, yeah. So. Not, <laughs> yeah. We're in Branson. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I forgot where that. I was for a minute. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, uh, how many years have you guys been here? Oh, it seems like 50. 50, 60. Yeah. yeah. No, um, this will be our fourth, fifth Next year. year will be our fifth. Next year will be our fifth year. Fifth year, yeah, wow. fifth year. That's a long time. Or in Branson, we call it our fifth year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's you know, perfect. I'm just saying. It'd be yeah. that many. It would be that many. Or in Roman mm -hmm. numerals, numerals. No, that, that, just that, that would many. be four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't do the peace sign. Oh, we yeah. don't do that either. <laughs> no. No choice. No peace signs. Okay. I'll no, get, no, I got no, it down. No, you hippie. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> I am from San Francisco. Are you really? That goes. Yeah, it goes over very well. But here. Blake's. Uh, he's from Texas. Texas. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. I, so how did you guys even get together? I know we had the. Uh... Well, I am from San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. Thank you very much. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Uh, so well, you got together next year to tie the knot here yeah. at Branson. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'm just Keep saying. Keep those fingers crossed. I know. Yeah. So you guys eventually got together in the end. We got together <laughs> in the end. Well, prison. Uh -huh. We like to call it Club Med. Oh, yeah. well, well, you do. Yeah. yeah. Well, mm -hmm. It's know. like Disney World, do you? Yeah, um, it is. That's so, great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything's an e-ticket. <laughs> See, Branson people will understand that because e-tickets were back in Roman days. <laughs> They were. They were, yeah. absolutely. There's no more e-tickets at Disneyland. You have I, no I clue what I'm talking about. I don't have a clue. Easy pass. Is it easy pass? <laughs> well, they didn't. Well, <laughs> that's how we met. Uh -huh, we call it an uh -huh. easy pass. Uh, yeah. All right. Anyway. So anyways, <laughs> five years in Branson. Five years in Branson. But you guys were on the uh, America's Got uh, Talent yeah. situation there. The America's Got Talent. The America's Got Talent. awesome. Mm -hmm. Great experience. But seriously, did it work out? Uh, for you guys? Well, Do you think it was beneficial or not? Oh, absolutely. We were touring. Look, I, I had to be talked. Wait. I had to be talked into. No, I was trying to. I uh -huh. just, I have spells. No, no, it's fine. I have spells. Just let it pass. I just stopped. Just tomorrow, just cut the pills in half. Yeah, we right. will. Yeah. No, we were, I had to be talked into doing it by yeah. our producers at the time. Yeah. Because if you remember uh, back in the old, the gong show and stuff like that. Yeah, that's what, that, that's what I think the show is, actually. For so. as goofy as we mm -hmm. are, the singing is serious. Right. We don't parody any singing or anything. And mm -hmm. um, they saw us on uh, YouTube and invited us to... Uh, audition right and uh we went and did and, and you didn't said, want to do it i didn't want to do it at all they they asked us three four times mm -hmm. why don't you want to do it it's nbc yeah, yeah. we're tv oh we're, trust me yeah you yeah, know this is the third not, year they've we're asked not me the god but we're a god yeah that's pretty yeah. much what they said to me they said uh this is the third year they've asked me to do it yeah they, they call me and we, come on think of the exposure that you'll get i'm like yeah name five people that have been really successful well we are we are one of only two acts that terry fader was the year we were on oh really the, yeah. the puppet we lost to puppets mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. we lost to non-human beings yeah well you know that sang yeah. better than we did that's that's basically <laughs> what happened yeah i know that was what was terrible but, but he, he came to branson a couple of times after he won no he did he was over at the he hung out with the duttons the duttons and then he was at rfd because i went and saw it oh uh, did he yeah. yeah he came two different years he hasn't been back since no doesn't, because doesn't he need landed branson. a huge deal in vegas i know yeah I know. It, we just landed a huge deal on hbo we're very excited really yeah we signed a contract with hbo this year Really? Yeah, you know where I'm going with this. No, no. You? No, yeah. I have no idea. You no. landed a whole... We, uh, we, Please, We just tell signed me. a whole contract. Yeah, we signed a two-year contract. We get the yeah. first year free. Yeah. <laughs> it's very exciting. And Showtime. Yeah, though. and Showtime. <laughs> yeah, and Stars and all of those. Uh -huh. We're hoping for a third year. We'll see. Yeah, uh -huh. but, you uh -huh. know... <laughs> yeah. Anyway, sorry, I digress. Oh no, you're yeah. fine. So, I forget that um, I'm talking to another comedian. No, you're not. No, because no, you're so I'm funny. A, I'm a serious. And, uh, no, and then then the minute interviewer. I go, I signed a thing with. HBO. Look at the studio. It's fabulous. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So no, so you get asked to be on the show. You don't want to do it, which is the situation I was in. My my uh, agent producer actually said, "Don't do it." He did not want me. See, to and Arsa that. did because. We were touring uh, only at the time and doing mm -hmm. quite well. Uh, did really well until we came to Branson, which is, I don't know what that means. Mm -hmm. but, but anyway. Another friend that happened to a yeah. big time comedian came here and just flopped. Yeah. And he had HBO specials. And, and I mean, he was hugely popular in the 80s and 90s, came here and couldn't, couldn't get 10 people at the show. It's just strange. And we get 80s and 90s at our show. But that's the age. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, you know mm -hmm. what I mean. I'm mm -hmm. just saying. No, but and they're there with their parents. Oh, which is uh, yeah. they are, and then their parents tell <laughs> yeah. their parents. Yeah, and everybody's Five in everybody's in robes and chain mail. You know, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> right. But um, no, so they, you know, at the time it was the second season, so it wasn't. Right. It hadn't gone through all of these incarnations. We were on the season after Brandy killed someone with her car. Oh, yeah. Oh, Cheryl well, Osmond. I was not. Oh, you don't remember I that? don't remember that. Do you remember I actually the first don't watch season the show. Was, so. The first season was Piers? Uh -huh. Piers, Piers Brosnan? No. Close enough. Piers, uh, yeah. Morgan. And yeah. then Ozzy Osbourne's mom, Sharon. Yes. Yeah, Cheryl. Cheryl Osbourne. <laughs> yeah, whatever. We like her uh -huh. a lot. And, uh, and David Hasselhoff. Oh yeah, the, Remember the, the, the Hoff. The Hoff. Uh -huh. David Hasselhoff. Now he I'll give you, you want an insider thing I on do. it. David as Hasselhoff, as when care. you meet him, Sued, yeah. he prefers that the H is silent. So anyway. There's an H in David? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, not anymore. <laughs> yeah. So we uh but the first year was Brandy, and in mm -hmm. in the hiatus uh of the seasons, 
she had an accident well she drove into the back of somebody and killed them oh my goodness mm -hmm. i was not aware of that no it I was so out of touch yeah obviously wow. and i think it was a good person mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and she uh, oh, every person is a good person yeah that's true go ahead especially here in branson yeah um and so they obviously didn't want her on the show to judge. Right. right. That's when they brought in Sharon. And it's great because they went and got another English person to come over and judge uh -huh. American, American stuff. Yeah, 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 we love that. Because it's so similar. Yeah, I thought we settled mm -hmm. that in 1776. Uh, you would think. I thought yeah, we they're did. They're still upset. Yeah, Mel mm -hmm. Gibson did something on that. Uh, Mel Gibson did a lot of things. Yeah, he so. did. But anyway, <laughs> so we go. They, they keep asking us. And we're on tour. And I said, well... We can't do it in Dallas because we base out of Dallas. Right. <clears throat> we're not there. Can't be in Los Angeles because we're on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. And we were in uh, not New York City, not the New York City. But, but New York State. New York State. Right, right. And actually, we were in Connecticut, which is like New York State. It's a suburb. It's yeah. a suburb mm -hmm. of New York. Mm -hmm. It's a, uh, what, what is that? It's a... Uh, ghetto? Uh, New York <laughs> no. What do you call this? It's a borough. A borough. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, not the kind you ride. No. No. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's a borough. So, uh, <laughs> it's, by the way, it's not the worst movie I've ever seen today. Burrow? Yeah, it had a burrow, a lot of burrows in it. Okay. You ever uh, see a movie? I can't know the name of it. I don't know the name, know of, the name it. of it. I you can't know. know the name because yeah. it's that old. Mm -hmm. uh, it had Cary Grant, Sophia Loren, and um, Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra is the leader of the Spanish Revolution. Wow. And they hauled this cannon all the way across Spain to blow up a castle that the French were holding, uh -huh. and, and Cary Grant was the cannon expert. So he had to go along. Sophia Loren was the hot chick. Mm -hmm. And um, Frank Sinatra was the Spaniard. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I don't see him as a Spaniard. Awesome. Well, wow. they did then. He was under contract. So oh, I see. Yeah. He had to do what he is. Anyway, that has uh -huh. nothing to do with America. Not, not nothing. So anyway, they keep asking us, and they were holding their big uh, auditions at the Javits Center in New York. Okay. And now it's much bigger because it's been on for so long. Right. Then. You know, they were trying, you know, they they were, instead of now everybody goes to them, they were combing the internet for acts and all Yeah, that no one stuff. had heard of the show. Yeah. It wasn't like a big deal yet. So they just knew us from our clips on the internet. And back then, we wore mullets all the time. Yeah. You know, the party in the back. Business in the front, party in the back. Yeah. yeah, you know, 80s mullets, all that mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. And so they thought that was us. Yeah. They, didn't get, they didn't get that it was no, a character. No, 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 no. Uh, well, TV people, they normally do because they're really bright. <laughs> so um, so I go, okay, because the, the, my producers are saying, seriously, you could tour now till you're dead. 20 million people are going to see you on this. Right, right. And I said, yeah, but 20 million people saw people on the gong show. Yeah. You know? Uh, and, and to backtrack real quick about did, did anything happen from it, well, Terry ended up at the Hilton at the time. Mm -hmm. We did a year at the uh, Luxor. Oh, you did? Yeah. I didn't so, know that. Yeah, one of the mm -hmm. only, and we're still performing. So one of, but we're not a variety act. Everything else is like 20 minute acts. Right, right. You know, so if you're a hula hoop and you win, you yeah. know, you do Was the that hula. the same year that the Glamazons were on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. And don't All get right. behind them in the buffet line. Uh, just yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. Yeah, the chicken was running scared. I'm just mm -hmm. saying it wasn't mm -hmm. good. But they're but very nice girls. They are. Yes, they were here in Branson. Were they? Lot. Yeah, they wow. were. Wow. Well, there's uh -huh. a lot at of the buffets Duttons. here. At the Dutton's uh, Theater. Of course they were. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Big girls. Yeah. yeah, very nice. Big personalities. Big personalities. Yes. Yeah. Hearts. Yeah. Big hearts. Yeah. Don't sit Apparently. behind them in a movie theater. Okay. Anyway. So anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you could edit that out, right? No. No, mm -hmm. I didn't think no, so. No, we don't have that ability. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. Of course you don't. No, and I'll be Look sure to tag set. them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And if you want more information, go to mattlord.com <laughs> yes. on his opinions. Please on send the letters. Yes. Too. Oh, please send letters. <laughs> um, so anyway, we go to the Javits Center, yeah, and uh, then they're going, there's four of you. And I said, that's the gag. There's mm -hmm. four of us, and we're not all tenors. Okay, that's great. Well, can you guys sing something for us? And I go, well, you, you called us. You've already heard us. Please just sing something. So we sing some stuff. And we're leaving now. And they're like, yes, you're going to be on the show, but right. we can't tell you for sure. And we go, well, we, if we're going to book yeah, we got jobs. road dates. We yeah. have jobs. Well, okay, we'll tell you soon. And then soon meant three months later. Right. But um, we're leaving. And they said, hey, can you take a microphone and run around to all the acts with us and interview them? And I go... In character. In they character. Yeah. No, but no, they don't think... They don't know They don't I'm know it's character. a character. My wig at the time matched me perfect. Uh -huh. And so they're thinking, 
I'm this guy. Right. And in the show, you know, I'm the, yeah, man, you know, I'm the redneck guy. And are they talking to you like that, oh, like real you know, slow? I'm talking to them like this, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm going, yeah, we're having a good time, you know, and let's just hang out and everything's good. And they're going, would you mind, you know, all these people are really nervous. Mm -hmm. We'll go around and we'll interview them. And I go, sure, yeah, no, man, no problem. We never broke character. That was what we did back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm walking around going, yeah, how are you doing? They're like, who are you? And I'm going, don't worry about it. You know, just we're going to take a canoe ride with Burt Reynolds after the show. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Really obscure reference, by the way. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, no, and no. So, Not around here. <laughs> not around here. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, we have the banjos and the whole wife. thing. No, seriously. It's my sister right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So. Um, Making friends. So now <laughs> I'm leaving. And they find out my background is opera. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and they're thinking this guy, like, yeah, I did opera for years. You know, love yeah. me some opera. Yeah. You know, and they're um, thinking you mean Oprah. Oprah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like watch Oprah. Oprah. <laughs> yeah, Oprah. love me some Oprah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, and I like my background was I went to Juilliard and I did all that and sung at the Met and everything and I lived in New York City for about seventeen years. Right. And they said, uh, "So, what are you doing now?" The little yeah camera crew, the road crew, and I go, "What do you mean?" Now I'm not talking in my and they're getting the character. This, yeah. They're getting that dog look on me now. Mm -hmm. I go, what do you mean? They go, well, where are you going? And I go, well, I used to live here. I'm going to have some dinner with some friends and hang out. I got a show out of state tomorrow, so not much. And well, can we follow you with our cameras? And I went, what? why would you want to do that? Yeah, right. And they go, well, no, we think it'd be really interesting. And I, and I went, wait a minute. <laughs> You know, and I lift my wig. I go, you know, this ain't me, right? Right, right. And they they just stared at me and they went. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. we knew. We knew. We knew. Yeah, yeah, but it would be really cool. Could you guys stay in character and let's go down to Times Square? They filmed this for three hours in Times Square. Yeah. Just Did they show much of it? Or? Not a lot of it. They showed a little of it because once we got on the show and everything, I don't want to really get into it because yeah. it's already burned me several times because I've been the truth teller. Uh -huh. um, they give you... Uh, like all those shows, uh, you would know this. They give uh -huh. you a contract that's about that big. Right. If you get into the final, at the time, if you get into the final 25. Right. And they were basically, you're going to get into the final 25. And so we had to... Uh, but so, a lot of people don't want to make it that far. I have friends that go no, on they want to and get they the purposely and want to get off the show. Well, they'll do that for you. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't, well, what, what I, I just, uh, again, being honest in showbiz, I can tell this story about the honest part, uh, right? Been mm -hmm. long enough. Statue of limitations is running. Yeah. Well, it's been seven years, six years, <laughs> but also, no, 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 it's not about it's no, I'm talking about signing it as yeah. our names. Oh, right. We signed okay. it at the time. It was me, a guy named John Wilkerson, a guy named Alex Mompus. Mm -hmm. And I signed them. Uh, but the company, uh, three redneck tenors had, uh, had, it was me and another partner right? and I didn't have the right just to sign redneck tenors, but they didn't ask for that. They asked us to sign individual. I see. So we are now into the top 25. Right. The next cut down is down to the top 10. And I felt, uh, dishonest about that because it was becoming clear to me because we were doing everything. We were their man on the street in Vegas. We were they were really promoting us, right, which was right. awesome. And they mm -hmm. were great. Uh, and now I'm feeling, uh, I, I was thinking about it and I go, you know, they think they're going to own redneck tenors. Right. And I felt disingenuous. I didn't mean it to be that way. And I didn't think about it until it moved later. And they're getting more and more into just like when you win America's uh, idol, American yeah. idol. Yeah. Right. They own you for seven years, five, six, whatever it is. They get to do whatever they want with you. Mm -hmm. And basically work you like crazy. Like crazy. And I think if you get into top five or something. Yeah, because I view those shows as commercials for the person that wins. Because they build up the following over all yeah. those weeks. Yeah. And they've got the advertising. Not only that, but people were paying then. I don't know if it still is. To vote. Like you had to do the little oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. You so were paying you're to paying vote. to vote. You're paying to watch a commercial. For, yeah. for the people that for are the going people to win. that win that you rarely hear from ever again. It, it's kind of crazy if you think about how it how the business side of how that actually it's a works. it's a it's a it's a reality show that they don't have to pay any of the talent for. Yeah, I mean that's really what it is, mm -hmm. and I do want to be on it again. Um, <laughs> so anyway, but anyway, I felt disingenuous at the time. There, none of these producers are with the show anymore, yeah. anyway. Um, and so I wrote them a letter and said, "Look, uh, it's Matthew Lord." Um, 
we have signed the contract and we did all, they vetted us because they, they had some issues with people on other shows right. that are getting close to winning and they're like, oh, you spent 14 years in jail for yeah, yeah. dog fighting. Oh, yeah. I remember yeah, because Michael Vick was a juggler first. Oh, really? Wasn't Absolutely. Well, he juggled and a puppies. Mime. And, and a mime. Yeah, yeah. And puppies. yeah, it was great. And they fought. I'm in a dog like, house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, anyway um, so I, I wrote him a letter and I said, look, um, Yes, you own the rights to me, John and Alex, and and absolutely true and everything. But technically, you don't own the rights to three redneck tenors, and I think you're thinking you do. Right. Um, I would be more than happy to partner with you on any way, and and, and absolutely like a ten percent nine. You're NBC, you know, yeah, right. or Fremantle, you whatever. But I I don't have the right to give you the show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We were off that show like that. Yeah. Yeah. And our exit was we walk out and Piers goes, you you sing better than anybody we've heard and you're funnier than anybody on the show. And so we're not going to move you on. <laughs> <laughs> and so I said, you can go on YouTube and see it. And uh -huh. so I said, we're staying in character because that drove him crazy too. Piers goes, uh, will you please, please, please stop doing the character. And I went, will you? And he went, okay. <laughs> you know, and because uh, they were asking us questions like, if you win the million dollars, what are you going to do? You right. Know? And, and I they said, expected like crazy. Well, first answer. off, it's it's over seven years or you get it. And it's, you know, mm -hmm. it's not really a million. And it's at them. And I said, I go, really? You mean like the thousand dollars? This is on air. Uh -huh. And they go, no, okay. I, I go, okay, man, I'll play along. Yeah, we're going to throw it out in front of the trailer and roll around it. And for, uh -huh. we're very excited to be here. <laughs> it's been funny. And then, Actually, I'm going to pay off my student loans yeah, for my time yeah, at Juilliard. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and then I turned over, you know, every time we'd be talking, I would go, Kit, get me out of here <laughs> right away. <laughs> And David, he didn't know. He was in a Wendy's drive thru, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw those videos. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it was awesome. That was the time. Do we have that, that clip? Happened. Do we have that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't. Okay, yeah. we don't have that clip. Yeah. Really? <laughs> no. go, let's go to the clip. Uh, let's not. Oh, okay. No, we got a lot of things um, going on. But anyway, uh, and I asked him like four times till he finally blew up. He goes, I just don't think, because I kept going, wait a minute, let me get this correct. We sing better than everybody, we're funnier than everybody, and you're not going to move us on. Yes, that's right. Okay, and then they start to go. Hang on, hang on. Let me just <laughs> let me just wrap my mind around it. Let me just. I, I'm just a poor old redneck. Let me, let me sing better. And he'd go. Yes, that's it. And I go. And then he'd start to talk, but it's really good. No, hang on, hang on. I gotta do it one more time. <laughs> Finally, he stands up and he goes. I just don't think America will like you. This we, British guy says. The British guy. Yeah. And he, and, and, and he goes to me, he goes, but we would like to invite you back for next year. And the last thing you see us do was I just went, yeah, like that's going to happen. And we just yeah. basically walked off the yeah. set. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't heard a lot of good experiences about it because I work on ships a lot and I run into other entertainers. And the problem that they always say is if we go on there, we have careers. We, the people that I oh, work yeah, yeah, with, yeah. you know, we have careers, we have gigs. Uh, the contract is so limiting. The money isn't what you think it's going to be, you know, especially when you read the contract and how they own you, like you're saying. And uh, the they problem. They could have recast us. I yeah. mean, that's the thing. They could have said, we love redneck tenors. We got three really young, hot guys mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we're going to track in the See, studio. See, something like that actually happened uh, to me. And not to get into you too had much three detail. Young hot guys? I, I had three, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they were all tenors. Awesome. And, uh, like but they anyways. are. Yeah. Uh, no, I got asked to be on the show, and I said, which of my acts do you want me to do? And I sent them all the links. We, we've seen your YouTube. We, th we like your character, because mm -hmm. they knew it was a character, because on my YouTube videos, I, I do a redneck character. I do this character. I do a mentalism. You just showed it, by the way. Spot mm -hmm. on. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, Scarily spot on. Yeah, well, go, I'm almost go to the video acting and now. watch that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. you never know what's an actor. <laughs> uh, you can tell when I'm acting, my lips move. Uh, but anyways... <laughs> So I said, which of the characters? Oh, no, no. We want, we like your look. We think you'll appeal to a certain demographic. And these are the routines we'd like you to do. These are the acts that we'd like but you to do. But they were learn. your acts. No, they weren't my acts. Oh. No. Oh, they, uh, they were giving could you, an you act. Could you do something in this style? Could you learn this? Could you learn that? Could you do an underwater? I'm like, I, that's not what I do. I do stand up. I do uh, small magic as part of the stand-up show. You've seen the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, they said, well, no, we want something. It's fabulous, by the way. Oh, thank you. Sorry. I, thought it was... yeah, I, thank you. I didn't know if you were. I... I... No, no. I I'll was giving that. it to you. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> took you long enough. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, uh, so they said, we like your look, but we need something like this act. And they sent me all of these links. And, so and let me said, get it clear. Real I, quick. I don't want to get into all Can I the get detail. this clear for the audience? Sure. All of the acts are sending you. Are not all of the acts you do. They are someone else's. None of them act. were my acts. Okay. 
None of them were even, they saw me, I do a comedy straight jacket and they said, but we want something more exciting, uh, underwater straight jacket. Here's a link. Look at this. Could you do this? And that sort of thing. And to be fair, I don't know if it was America's Got Talent or the agency that was trying to get me on America's Got Talent. You know, well, it's you know also, how it works. Well, like they have the, casting America's agents. Got Talent is NBC produces it. Right. And then Fremantle is the production company that owns it. And then there's like 50 minion agencies, producers and agencies or whatever. that go out and search and bring them acts and do mm -hmm. all of that. And so we were all about it. Like I uh, actually put together a really good act uh, that was my own. Did you go underwater? I, I did not go underwater. <sighs> I did the opposite. I did a flying. I was going to do a flying act, uh, an aerial act as a magician kind of as a goof where I was going to find somebody's card in the most outrageous way ever. I'd rip off my tuxedo and I would have this uh, leotard thing on and climb the silks and be producing cards and trying to find their card and looking like I was falling. And at the end, I would do a tumble and their card would be sticking out of my mouth. So this was the whole thing. And it went great. We shot some test video. Um, they, and they were really into it. They mm -hmm. got a hold of me and said, well, now can you find us some of these type of acts? And they sent me these videos of these horrible, horrible... Can you find them other acts or you to do the other acts? No, they wanted me... They wanted to cast me or hire yeah, me or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and they said, well, can you find acts like these? And they sent me links from, uh, like, Ukraine's Got Talent and these other... We want something like... Does they, Ukraine really have talent? They do, do actually. They? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing, yeah. actually. Uh, but they sent me the links and we want these. And the ones they sent me, and you'll know what I'm talking about, were the ones that are the laughable ones, that you know they're not going to make it. You know what I mean? We got like, beat by Boy Shakira. Oh, I remember that. I remember Boy that Shakira. Was. Mm -hmm. And everybody's like, and that's when you know, they explained to me after this producer that became a friend of mine, so you'll know this, uh, that they let several acts that aren't even acts. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? They're mm -hmm. people that sat in their living room and like to dress and drag. That's right. what Boy yeah. Secura did. Mm -hmm. And he's, he was quite overweight and wore the outfit and yeah, ran around. I and he, he, he moved into the top 10. Yeah. But they explained to us that more people will watch someone they hate, hoping they get voted off, than someone they like. Yes. To move on. No, I totally know why. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, so they wanted you to do country. like the boy secure it? Not they want me to do it. They wanted me to find people. They said, is there anyone in Branson that can do this? And it was a man dressed as a butterfly singing opera. And it was horrible. You know, his wings would come out. I've seen that. you do Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You take the weirdest showers. I know. Uh, so anyways, uh, and long story short, I hurt myself and couldn't do it. I had an accident and mm -hmm. had to back out literally the week that they called me and said, Hey, we, we need you here next week. And I had an accident. There was no way I was going to mm -hmm. climb these things. I ruptured three discs in my back. Oh. Yeah. And so I pulled out. Then the next year they wanted me to do it. And by this time, my friends said, don't do it. And I heard the stories on cruise ships of uh, talent going on there. And they said, the only thing it did for us was that other people around the country started doing our bits. Like they stole our characters. Oh. You know, it didn't help us. We had a career on cruise ships and we were doing corporate gigs and yeah, so on. Yeah, like the quick and, change people. And yeah, stuff and like they that. said, now everybody's doing our act. You know, they would see the acts on YouTube. Yeah, we didn't. So they you know, on. we were a trio of singers that you either like our singer or singing or not. And the yeah. comedy was specific to the gag. Right, right. So it's not. I mean, anybody could steal it if they want, but you're still going to have to put the right talent. Well, yours is character driven, kind of like driven, I think absolutely. mine is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you can steal my routines, which someone does all the time, and um, he knows Carlos who he is. Mencia. No, no, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, the magic, the, <laughs> oh, ma sorry. the magic routines. Sorry, I just always that's my card. Yeah, too. just go, go right stole there. Stole that, yeah. Carlos Mencia. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you can steal the routines, but the. It's about the character. With yeah, that. no. You know, it builds over time. Well, it's also like show. comedy. You can, you're either funny or you're not funny. Yeah. And yeah. if you're not funny, uh, I can take the joke you did last night and it's going to be yeah. horrific. Yeah. Like my grandma said, you either have funny bones or you don't. Yeah. Funny bones, you are a funny person. If you don't, you can tell funny, but mm. it's not the same. So you can tell the joke. It doesn't come across the same. Tell but... your grandma I said hi, by the way. Oh, I will. I miss her terribly. I, do you? Yeah. yeah. Well, she, she asked about you all the yeah, time. Yeah, we actually. dated shortly mm -hmm. after the war. The mm. big one. 
Really? Yeah, yeah. Which big one was that? <laughs> yeah, well, civil. We are in Branson. You <laughs> yes. know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. Uh, so uh, anyway, so uh, so one when person. When you coming home, Rhett? <laughs> Sorry. You okay? Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Hitting that bar at the new theater. Yeah. You let um, that out, right? N- no. No, nah, I didn't think so. We don't do that. So <laughs> one one person, you're way overestimating my really abilities. Really am, yeah. So one person told me our act got stolen. The other person told me, hey, they, they did the same thing they did to you. They came to me and said, hey, we want you to do your unique unique juggling act. They had a really unique act, mm-hmm. uh, and that's hard in juggling. And so they uh, came pretty much to them. everything's been juggled. Yeah, really. I say once you do that, you're done. <laughs> once you, do, yeah, once you show that you can do They do, do this every once in a while. Well, a magician, yeah. Well, a magician told me one time with the linking rings. You have the two rings, mm-hmm. you stick them together, you pull them apart. He said, once you put them together, pull them apart, wrap up the trick. It's done. <laughs> you show that you can do it. Everything else is just showing off. Oh. So, you know, yeah. and that's how I feel about juggling. Oh, you got them up there? Good, you're done. Yeah. So, but, but, but they had something but that But they was had really something cool. unique. They had a theme, and they declined to be on the show. And so that season, they had somebody doing their Steal characters. Their and you, you know? can, is there no re... I, I don't know, because in singing, there's no recourse. Cause no, you, same sings. thing in magic. Really? And, and in entertaining. I'm told that... Uh, you can't patent a trick? You can patent a method. Like if I came up with a, a, a contraption that did a mm-hmm. trick, I can draw it up, have an engineer draw it, the plans, and then get a patent on it. So I would have the patent. But someone would just but have to change something small. Change a couple things on it. Say like it, an arrangement, like a music arrangement. Mm-hmm. I can take an arrangement, change six notes in it, and go, no, that's mine. Yeah, it's like, a, like, say, a car, okay? You can patent. You can't patent a car. Like there's so many. There's yeah. GM, there's Chrysler, whatever. Um, so everybody has their variation on a car. So, so they stole their juggling act. So they stole the, the characters and the whole bit. So that was it. And I just, I view it as the gong show. And my argument always is when they call me is that eventually you're going to fail. And that's what people seem to remember. They remember when the acts fail. They remember you didn't win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, my favorite thing is, uh, it was only top 10 that back then they had a whole different voting when you got into the top 10, that's when the voting started. Uh-huh. We were in the round right before. We went to Los Angeles, New York, and uh, and by the way, they were not in the same studio. Um, we went to Los Angeles. Well, like you, New York, yeah, uh-huh. Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. We'll put it back there. Um, and then, then we did go to Vegas. Right. And then you moved on from Vegas to go back to Los Angeles mm-hmm. to, to, to the winning round. We got right to the right before the voting round and the voting before is for the public. Yeah. Votes, that's yeah. not a fraud. That's, that's, that is real. Um, but they didn't want us to move into the voting round cause, cause then we technically could have maybe won. Right. Um, so they, they, cause it's a game show. They have to it play is a fair. Game show. They have to play fair. It's that gambling re- laws uh, the, and the, the Van Buren, um, cause that big quiz, quiz show, show, quiz show. Van Buren. Thing. That's mm-hmm. his name, isn't it? Yeah. I think so. Where they gave yeah. him the answers and the whole thing. Yeah. You're so not allowed they're given money. money. Well, when you're giving prizes, you can't right. do that. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, they got us off before the voting round, but, um, so they can control it and kind of stack the deck. Well, up to the I, I, top I, I can then. only speak to second season because right. now voting starts way earlier. No, I'm just saying when you were on it, like they they knew what kinds of acts they probably. Yeah, the whole thing where the, where the make judges said, you know, we spent all night in our hotel room. Sure, you did. Going over everything. No, the producers say, and it's their show, rightfully so. And I don't begrudge them any of that. I do begrudge the fact that reality shows, whether it whether it be um, Honey Boo Boo. You know, yeah, there's one. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Kids watch this and learn yeah, right. what not to do. Right. Um, that it turned into the, the sitcoms kind of gone now, the, unless you're Tyler Perry. Um, mm-hmm. Well, the funny sitcoms gone. Um, <laughs> the sitcoms are gone and all of that because they would have to pay writers. They have to do this and they have yeah, to do that. Yeah, I know. I know America's a lot of writers. America's Got Talent, that... The Voice, which is a copy of American Idol, American Idol, X National Factor. Star, X Factor. They don't pay anybody. Right. So they're making tons more money. And, and they really, uh, again, they, they don't hide that they don't really care who you are right. either. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, again, it's not that they're, it's the thing that you get caught in. And, and we got caught up into it too. As, as old and jaded as we were, we're like, man, we might win. Yeah. Wow. If we win, boy, our lives are going to be, you know, changed because right. we're going to be huge stars. And you get caught up in the in the snowball effect of that. And they're honest the whole time. Mm-hmm. They actually have psychiatrists. Well, you have a degree in psychology. Yeah. Uh, a PhD in psychology. Well, hello. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, 
they uh, have psychiatrists everywhere backstage. Yeah. Because people Grief really freak out. Basically. Yeah. And the guy comes up to me after we got, he goes, seriously, man, you seemed really angry out there. I go, really? <laughs> I go, do you really think I'm angry? Yeah. I go, this isn't me. Yeah, right, right. And he's like looking at me, he goes, well, do you want to sit down and talk? And I go, yeah, how are you feeling? <laughs> yeah, are you yeah okay? interview him. Do you really like, when you got into psychiatry, was this what you thought this you would be doing? Do you wanted Inter to be I was interviewing Boy Shakira backstage, mm -hmm. saying, do you feel okay? Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and then he goes, okay, yeah, you're done. You're yeah. Good. You're so good. do you get that in Brampton? The people that see your show, do they ever recognize you? Do you still do the mullet thing? Uh, we do parts now mullet. We used to be strictly mullet. And then what happened is the one great thing about Branson that I will say uh, happened for our show specifically was it, it's not, you know, to be clear, it's not censorship if it's what your audience wants to see. Right, right. Do you know You're what playing I mean? to the audience. No, no one I has totally ever know. told us you can't do well this year they did it the andy williams but <laughs> well but they were the osmonds and not really the osmonds because donnie and marie weren't there yeah. but anyway um yeah uh, but anyway the if you're doing what the audience we came to branson branson didn't come to us right and um and so you have to do what the demographic and, and branson's the, the weirdest show. place in the world as mm -hmm. far as there are very strict boundaries of what you can do on the show. Mm -hmm. Very, as long as you put family in the title, they'll come to your show. Yeah. It could be the Manson family. They're going to come <laughs> to see <laughs> yeah. Charlie and Squeaky sing patriotic songs. Right. You know, I'm, but I'm just saying. But that's what it is. That's and, what it is. And you, you know, accept God it when you country, move here. And... and and we do a patriotic. We did patriotic though in our own defense way before we came to Branson because mm -hmm. because we do appreciate those guys and girls. But the the thing is, is that it made us take a new look at our show and it ended up that the second half of our show they would go well we just want to hear you sing right you know we love we get it we're coming to Redneck the joke's Tenors. over the joke's over we just want to hear you sing so slowly i started making a concert second half where the curtain came up and the mullets came off and we were in tuxedos and just mm -hmm. sang well that became the favorite part of the show so now it's completely the second half of the show right and we only wear mullets in two acts in the beginning of the show and it's more of who we are, and it's actually made it a better show. Even when we go on the road now and so on, it's a better show. Isn't that nice it about would, Branson? It would have never happened if we did. And I fought it at the beginning. And on our show, even when we went to Vegas, never had a dirt. I said, you'll feel dirty at the end of it. Yeah, yeah. But we never had a dirty word in it. No. Right, right. And we had people in Vegas come up and say, we thought you were going to change your show because uh -huh. you're in Vegas. You were going to get all Andrew Dice Clay on the show or whatever. Yeah, right. And I said, no, because it's character driven and the characters don't talk like that. Yeah, I get that you know? too. People buy, I sell DVDs of my show in different venues, like on a cruise ship. I have mm -hmm. the cruise ship show and it's a different act, but it's well, it's a different audience same. too. You yeah, can be a little it, edgier there. You can be, but lots of times, you know, people watch it. Is it appropriate for Branson? You know, that's the question I get. And it is because that has become the character over yeah. nine years of what I do. Now I can make other references and stuff in it, but there's no swearing. Or but the negative like side of Branson is there's a faction of people, and a very, it's not the huge faction, that come the morality to hopefully please. get online and whatever and and make judge. They're not there to watch and have a good time. Right. In Vegas, they're there to watch, drink, and have a good time. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. not there to judge mm -hmm. in general. I mean, I didn't find that true there. Right, and you in go New York, there to have a good and time. And New York and Chicago, where I've performed my whole life, it's not that they're 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 paying good money to come see a show and just entertain me let me yeah. forget about my life for two hours right and here there is a faction of people that will come and literally try and destroy your show if you don't hit the points that they want the patriotic you to number and not, not just patriotic but god uh their god mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. not god but right. their god their specific god yeah and uh and i would even say to some people i go well that's not my belief and so i wouldn't sing that and they would go well we don't care yeah they don't care and i said well i do no i know exactly what you're talking about after a show this year i had a woman come up and she said i'm a member of the sisters of whatever Perpetual indulgence <laughs> no yeah <laughs> whatever it I'm was from San Francisco. yeah uh but they um they said uh she said i was sent to to scout shows to find any that we should avoid and i'm happy to report that your show uh, passed and I thought that was odd that, mm -hmm. the, that you would do that. But on the other hand, Branson's a little different because our bus groups, our coaches huge. is huge here. And so a lot of the people honestly don't know what show they're going to. You know, they, they book it. 
I've seen the ads for it, and it'll say. And the uh, coach books the show. Not, I mean, the coach company. The, books the, the, show. the company. Yeah. I mean, from the advertisements I've seen, it'll say you will go to Branson. You will have this many dinner shows. You will have this many shows. You'll see and see these attractions, but they don't tell you what dinner shows, what shows. Always, mm -hmm. some of them keep it really vague. You'll see Neil so, Diamond. Not sort really. of. But yeah. I've had people come up to me on the uh, boat and say, we didn't know we were riding a boat. You know, we didn't, we didn't did know. Did they know they were on a boat? Because sometimes the boat they actually did, moved. They knew, and, yeah, yeah okay. You know what I mean? Like, did they know they were on a boat when they were yeah, saying yeah. this to you? But, but they, no, they would say, we're pleasantly surprised we got to go out on a boat. We just knew we were going to have dinner tonight at a show, and we had no idea. And so... I had no clue. I've been here for five, four years. So I've had people actually say that to me. And, um, you know, maybe the people just didn't catch it. You know, the, the people that are saying this. But I have seen some ads. If you go on and search for tours to Branson, mm -hmm. you'll see where it says, no specifics. You'll see, we promise you, you'll see this show, this show, this show, and four other ones. Or something general like that. Well, and they so, just want to come and have... It's like going to Greece on a tour. Uh -huh. They're going to tour Greece. You don't know what you're going to see in Greece. Right, right. You know, well, and that's we, what it we is know for what them. you're going to see. But I mean, yeah, yeah you know. Yeah. But I'm saying, you don't know. It's, you know, there's that big... What's the big Italian tour that goes... Oh, man, oh, they've been around for yeah. 500 years. Oh, I don't it's know. It's the something something family tour of yes. Italy. Oh, you really? just come and get we on the bus. And you get on the bus and we take you we'll in get our Italy. Research He's staff research. On that. That's your staff over there. Yes, isn't it, it yeah. is. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but that's probably what they do here. And mm -hmm. they're happy. Not everybody does it. I'm just saying that I've no, had a few. No, but I'm saying they're, I'm sure it's like, I don't want to pick the shows. I don't want to do this. I, I just want, want to go and have a good and time. To have a good time. They, and I want to eat because that's what yeah. they do here. They know they're going to have a good time. They're not mm -hmm. going to be offended coming to Branson. So what I'm saying is a lot of the people that criticize a show, it's simply because Perillo. maybe they... Perillo. That's Perillo? It. Yeah. But maybe they didn't know that they were coming to that specific show. Yeah. Or, or in fairness to a lot of them, because uh, we see a lot of bus groups, they do a lot. Like they get them up at like eight o'clock in the morning, and we were going to oh. breakfast. Then you're going to do this. It's a full itinerary. Well, we were at Andy itinerary. Williams this year, mm -hmm. and and here's here's you want to know? Don't follow my career path. Oh, Never. No, no, no yeah. I'm totally. So, yeah. Look, yeah, you mm -hmm. don't want to do that. Yeah, there's and bad it, role models and good role models. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we started out as the eight o'clock show, uh -huh. and then we moved to the two o'clock show. And by the end of the eight season, we're in the, the morning? eight o'clock at night. Oh, okay. No, I know it's hard to believe we were a headliner. <laughs> um, we were the eight o'clock show. Mm -hmm. And then they brought in The Price is Right. Right, right. Because nothing like a live game show on stage uh, without the star. Um, <laughs> so you got uh, Price. So then we moved to 2 o'clock because Price mm -hmm. is Right went there. And then uh, Rick Thomas. Rick Thomas. Yeah. The illusionist. Mm -hmm, from yeah, Vegas. he's here right now. That's how good he is. Yeah. But anyway, mm -hmm. then Rick Thomas took the 2 o'clock slot. Right. And so then we, because in our contract, they could move us wherever they wanted. Then we took the 10 a.m. slot. If we would have stayed one more month, we would have been killing it at 6 a.m. Yeah. I'm just telling you. We, we the, actually do a joke uh, backstage at, at our show about uh, having to put together an early morning breakfast show. And, well, that's <laughs> but what, what they were doing was, um, and then Daniel O'Donnell, the great Dan, oh, I, yeah. packed it. All the time. 2,000 people. Freaky packed, you mm -hmm. know. People Hello, I'm Daniel O'Donnell. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You know, it's yeah. just, just fantastic. Is he in the morning? He's in the afternoon. Oh, he only okay. does afternoon. Morning would have been great. They well, his lucky show charms lasts and... until late evening. <laughs> really? It's over three hours and ten minutes long. Is they it don't seriously? Really... Oh, that is the average time. So he just goes and goes. He's just talking about the good days. And the people love him. They're just looking at him going, oh my goodness. Yeah, I've seen oh, him on PBS where you're talking about yes, that. And, touch uh, me. What, is, is, who, how many birthdays have we got? I went there and saw five birthdays, no one under the age of 93. Yeah, and yeah. he's the, but he's the son that they all want. He's the son or the grandson or the great-great-grandson. They love it. Or great-great-great-grandson. Hey, good great for him. Grandson. No, he's packing it. So, but, but here's what Andy Williams did. And then they had the Lennon sisters and the Osmonds without Donnie Murray. Um, in the late, well, I'm just saying, yeah, you know, right. it's mm -hmm. like the Jackson four. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, we really benefited from it because what happened is, is all the bus groups that Daniel had thousands of them, I mean, mm -hmm. unbelievable. So they would come see our show at 10 AM cause you know, they had to get up for that early buffet at 4 AM. Right. Like they do. <laughs> yeah. They're like farmers. I mean, you know, uh -huh. so they get up and they go eat and then they come watch our show at 10 AM and then they eat. And, but they don't have to, they just want to cross to Shorty's over there. Right. right and then they door. come right back again mm -hmm. and they watch Daniel at two. Then they go back to Shorty's. They don't have to go they far. They can make a whole day of they, it right And then they, the whole thing and, and unbelievable that, that they just stayed there all day. Yeah. 
but it's probably so much easier for the tour organizers than they getting don't have everyone to drive on the, the bus. bus. Think of the and, gas they save. Oh yeah, you know, and just the time yeah. of getting the people on the bus and off the bus. Yeah, and, no, yeah. and and Andy Williams though, uh, the weirdest thing about that theater, and that's one of the reasons I think Daniel's moving on to the Welk Theater, um, oh. is yeah. uh, Scoop. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, spoiler. The the only handicapped access at Andy's is down back by the back dumpster coming down the hallway oh, yeah. where the dressing area is mm -hmm. for the artists mm -hmm. and going there is no how do you build a theater in branson without handicap right right i mean you know that's our demographic yeah you know i mean mm -hmm. how many traffic jams have you had at the front door of your theater you know right with the little scooters and the whole thing oh yeah yeah because yeah. that's what they drive. the little rascals the little rascal the mm -hmm. little rascals <laughs> yes exactly look at you being funny oh you're yeah. a comedian uh, really? not today. can i steal that uh, sure. i'm gonna go back on america's got talent Are you yeah not? can you do some tricks for me real quick i am not gonna do tricks <laughs> do you have any anyone else's tricks you'd like yeah, to do? <laughs> yeah. could you do it but underwater yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what that. Yeah. Not kidding. Can you do a card trick yeah. underwater? That Could you do this but be black? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Send all cards and letters to yeah, no, 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 to the Andy Williams Theater. To the Andy Next Williams year. Theater. But um, anyway, they, you know, they were good. They did everything they said they would do. Uh, I learned a lesson that unless asked, don't be as honest as you can be. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Unless asked, meaning I was honest, but right. I went the step, gave it an extra scoop of honest. Yeah. Like, y'all know you don't really own this. Yeah. What I should have done is just let it play out. Right. You know? And then once they thought they owned it, go, hey, by the way, you don't own this. Right. right. You know, but, they, you know, they're NBC and they're Freeman. They're, they yeah, what are you going to do? They, they would say, so, yes, yeah. we actually do. Mm -hmm. But they, they, did, they did flat out, flat out say they could recast us. Yeah. I mean, and I said, so I sign over all the rights to it. And they go, yes, we need all the rights to it. And what do I get? And they said, we, you might win the show. Yeah, you get exposure. And then That's I what said, they told me. Yeah, but then if they recast you, the exposure does you no good. Right. You're serving fries next year going, yeah. Man, I was, <laughs> Remember one, of me? The I was one of the original right next year. Lost to going, a puppet. No, you weren't. Yeah, lost <laughs> to a puppet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Terry's great, though. He is. I mean, he really is. I have fantastic. his book, actually. I, yeah. I don't know if you've read it. But it was written a... by a puppet. Was it really? <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, a ghost puppet. Yeah. You know, I used to do a joke ventriloquist act because I, I used to do a fake variety show in the Catskills, and it was me doing all the characters. Did you work the Catskills? I did for like three years. and I um, didn't know that even existed anymore. It doesn't anymore, oh, okay. as far as I know. Yeah. But I did a ventriloquist act, but I did it as a surgeon, and my puppet was the nurse, so I wore the surgeon's mask. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't do, oh, man, can't do ventriloquism. Yeah. And so I would just talk to the puppet, and yeah. it would be like... Can you hand me whatever? <laughs> you should give that to a lot of our ventriloquists here because uh -huh. they can't. It do was it was something, either. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then wow. uh, <laughs> that's funny. Uh -huh. So where did you play in the Catskills? I did uh, Kutcher's. Yeah. Uh, I did Pine Valley Dude Ranch, which was a <laughs> western themed place. Uh, Bella western Vista. Theme. Yeah, it was all western. Shecky have... and Buddy the Cowboy. Uh, yeah. No, it, no, I had an <laughs> incident there. You know, yeah. <laughs> but it was a giant log cabin, and they were dressed as uh, cowboys and stuff. And you would do it. And I was actually in the Catskills. In the Catskills, and I was actually outside watching somebody climb a, a rock wall. It was when they were really popular. And they let go thinking that it was going to repel them down. And they just fell on top of me from like 30 feet up. And we're laying there on the ground. There, and somebody comes running over. What do you, why did you let go? And they said, well, are there safety issues? You know, safety precautions? No. You're no, supposed to hold on. You're climbing a wall. Uh, so, climbing uh, a wall. so that happened. But um, I loved it. I've met a lot of people. Actually, the, the Catskills cat led to not, this. The, 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 the Catskills and the Poconos are right next, but they're not the same. Sort of. A few hours apart. Yeah, Poconos are in Because the Poconos in, was uh, big too, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and I did, um, uh, I can't remember it right now, but a uh, big resort there every week I had a and show. And were they still going out for the whole summer? Their families would just go oh, out yeah. there and stay at the hotel? The Poconos and... resort that I worked at, oh, it's slipping my mind right now, uh, was the one that they ba they used as the basis for Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing. So it was a big white it was beautiful. Ivy Tower looking It was thing. beautiful. Yeah. Big, huge main house and then all the villas and, and all that. And that's what they used. And, and the one that I worked at there, uh, gosh, I wish I could remember the name, uh, but the same families came every year. Yeah, and so no, they would it's... say, we've sat at this table this week for 30 years, you know, and they, they were very picky about that. But the cool thing was this was 2004 or five, 
that time. And a lot of the people that came to the Poconos were the firefighters and stuff from New York. Really? So we would do like a whole tribute, but it was really heartfelt. Like they well, really, had, yeah, especially yeah. 2004. Mm -hmm. And so uh, they would all come. So we made all these connections that led to me performing for those people in the Catskills. They would refer me or in New York and bada boom, bada bing. I'm in. Where are you Branson. from? Originally. From Ohio, actually. Where? Uh, Youngstown area. Really? My dad's from Canton. No, I worked in Canton. Canton Bulldogs. You ever go there? Yeah. Oh, I've been, yeah. All yeah. Over. I worked at the airport. There's a, a World War II themed restaurant there that's themed. <laughs> no, listen, stay with me on this because it's good. <laughs> it's themed as a French type of cafe and the walls are sandbags and they're missing and there's a bomb in the ceiling and you have to go over a rickety bridge that has warnings about explosives. Everyone's dress period and they invite veterans to hang their stuff up. And so there's like their souvenirs from uh, letters. How and long stuff. ago was this? So this yeah, was, did you have World War II guys open. coming in? It's still open. But I mean, uh, did you have a lot of World War II guys? I think so. Guys? Yeah, you know, Anybody, my job was like, to around walk in and just like freak out, like. No, uh, but when you went into the bathrooms there, which were all sandbag walls and the, like they were playing the news reports from uh, Eisenhower and stuff, you could hear. Where is it the at the announcement. airport? It's yeah, still it's there? a chain. I guess it's a chain that uh, that you can buy into, but it D -days. was. No, no, it was that's called a, a that's a different fighter place. squadron, yeah, and everyone was a totally different. Yeah, yeah, uh, but they every really cute outfits. <laughs> every yeah. squad, every squadron had a different number. So this was like the three fifty sixth squadron, and they took it real serious. I mean, you went in, and it was pretty awesome. Did you wear the outfit? And do the no, one? I didn't. We had thought about doing that, and uh, what real the whole story of me getting to Branson is from that place. I did a uh, a night. I was doing a Christmas party for a business, or not a Christmas party, a uh, corporate gig. For a business, they were giving out awards. I was the MC. Oh, I thought you were a kid. And you were like a waiter there. No, no, oh, no, no. I, I really did. I was thinking you were like nineteen. So that's no. why I'm going. Did you wear the outfit? No, did no. you? I was a performer. Did you have it? In, oh, cool. No. So I was doing this corporate gig. A tornado came through the area. They made us all, luckily, sandbags. <laughs> so <laughs> look at you. You're like survive the war. Big deal. Yeah. yeah. But they had us all get into the center of the building. And there were a lot of kids there that week. And so I just started entertaining the kids. So the owner of the place saw me and said, thank you for keeping the kids calm. Um, give me your number. He calls me a week later and says, will you come in on Sundays and go table to table and just entertain the kids? Mm -hmm. You know, because there's a lot of families that come in from church. So I did that, met somebody that was on a layover because the airport's right there. Yeah. You, you would watch out the window and watch the planes take off and you could listen on the headset to this the tower. This is in Youngstown? Uh, Canton. Canton, oh. Canton Akron Airport. Uh, so you would listen to them and so they uh, had layovers. So these guys were in there and they said, we're having a layover, we're from uh, the Poconos. Would you be interested in doing a couple dates at the Poconos? We have a guy that needs a, to take a vacation at our place and, and would you do two weeks? Which is ironic. Take because a vacation for the vacation place. Yeah. yeah just, I always say my life is your family's vacation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I uh, went, did uh, two weeks. They said, we really like you. We were going to get rid of the other guy. Uh, would you stay? And I felt really bad. But they're like, we're going to get rid of him anyways. So that was your so, first step on squashing someone's dreams squ to, yes. to mm -hmm. propel your career. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because he was funny. He was the best comedian and the best singer I'd ever seen. And you needed but him we, out. We needed him out. Absolutely. Uh, see callback. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyway, so I said, sure, two weeks. That man was Yakov Smirnov. <laughs> and anyway. It, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. I don't know who it was. I know. He, but he's it, a triple threat. Yeah, yeah. But it turned, I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what it means either. <laughs> but uh, it turned into uh, two years. I did it. And people would see me at that resort. My agent would say, I can't get you much money, but if you drive over to the Catskills, you, know, you can do it You know, every agent says that, by the way. Yeah, I know. Later yeah. I learned my lesson. Mm -hmm. But you're in the Poconos already. So you would perform there and perform at the yeah, same Yeah, I would night. do Tuesday night at, uh, in the Poconos at Woodlock Pines. That's the name of it. Woodlock Pines. So I would do a Tuesday night. Every Tuesday, I'd split the bill with somebody. And then I would uh, do another resort on Wednesday night and one on Thursday and then come home and then drive back again and just do this little circuit. Mm -hmm. And so somebody saw me in the Catskills that was from Branson and sent my stuff to uh, Branson and they called me. I thought it was a joke. Didn't even know what Branson was. And back and, then, no. Yeah. No, I didn't know what it was. And so I flew down here, drove 14 hours, whatever, uh, to see what it was about. And here it's I am. It's the track music capital Not, of the world. Nine years later. The best yeah. and the, and the uh, draw. Drive, yeah. it ain't here. Yeah. yeah. And the draw was uh, getting to go home every night and not 
Oh yeah, driving. absolutely. That was it. That was truly. Well, was. you got like one of the best gigs in town. I mean, oh, the, awesome. the showboat. Mm -hmm. That's a yeah. great, solid company and yeah. stuff. So everybody, yeah. every performer who hammers it, well, I would never do the showboat. If the yeah. showboat called them tomorrow, oh no, oh yeah, great. I'll be there right in the heart. It's fantastic. Yeah. I just yeah. show up, do my thing. Don't have to worry about what theater I'm going to or when they're going to change the schedule or anything. Yeah, don't or... have to do teasers. Uh uh Yeah. No, oh, don't have to go to Denny's like Denny's. some of the people do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah cat's pajamas. <laughs> anyway, um... so but really, <laughs> sure. Uh, I'm just I'm just promoing guys. I'm helping. Yeah, them you're out. helping them out. Helping yeah, them out. Shout helping outs. them out. So just to wrap up, <laughs> because we never did continue the conversation about next year. Oh uh, yeah. But, but you'll be at the Lodge of the Ozarks. Yeah, next either year. at the club or the Crystal Room, or it'll Crystal be called something. something. And, and they're really uh, backing you guys like they're planning on you guys doing uh, maybe a talk show sort of thing uh yeah we're gonna do on the vacation channel we just signed to do branson tonight mm -hmm. you're gonna be a guest i hope well we can i'll talk yeah, to if someone. you know someone i'll talk <laughs> to someone uh it's gonna be called uh branson tonight and it's gonna air Tuesday on and friday Tuesdays Tuesday and, and friday 11. is it live it's no, no, uh no. well we we actually talked about doing it live you know the amazing thing is if you don't have the right equipment and they have a great studio at the Vacation Channel and all of oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. But if you don't have the exact right, uh, meaning like, I don't know, microwave lines or whatever they got, right. live is so expensive you can't even right. believe it. And no, you don't want me live anyway. No, That's yeah. not going to happen. Mm -hmm. But it's going to go Tuesdays and Friday nights, and it'll be at 11 o'clock at night, mm -hmm. so when they're getting off the show. Yeah. And it's to promote, we've already had the platters on, a uh, wonderful comedian named Joey Aiello. Mm -hmm. um, and we got, we're going to do Man on the Street stuff. It'll be more in the format of like a cross between Jimmy Fallon and Johnny Carson. Right. 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 School and new mm -hmm. school. Yeah. So oh, we're that sounds good. Like yeah, yeah, man. Thanks for having Thank me. Thank you. Thanks ball. for it. Yeah, it was yeah. fun. We learned a lot about America's Got We learned a lot, <laughs> and, and we talked ancient history. And, there you and, go. and so your website is? <laughs> you have to look over there. Seriously? I do. I don't. <laughs> We should change it. Is it just Yeah. We still own that one? I think so. Yeah. Three. No, no, no. Three. Number three. Roman numeral three. No, don't say that. No. Three. Three red neck tenors, plural. Not the word plural, but tenors. Let it go. We will type it at the bottom. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll yeah. be touring all next year, and, and, and yeah, check us out, because we're, we're not going to be here as much this next year as we yeah, are. It's going to be great there, because you'll have the talk show, you'll have yeah, the, the lodge. And the bar. And the bar. Come drink us pretty. Yeah. The more you drink, the sexier and funnier we get. That's that true. a huge cake. It is, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Beer binoculars. <laughs> you need them. Yeah, yeah that's like a swimming pool. Yeah, absolutely. That's great. Well, thanks for joining us. Thank you, brother. Thank Appreciate you for you. watching Spotlight, and uh, see you around Branson. Bye-bye.